everybody, it is Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. Uh, my channel is all about making and saving money. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two boys and this is my channel, so welcome. Um, this video today I thought I'd bring to you a little bit of information about thrifting fossils. It's something that I am passionate about as you might be able to see behind me and I'm a rock hound. I love rock, rocks and fossils and things and uh, it's one of the things that I like to pick up when I'm out and about. Most of the time I end up keeping them anyway but uh, it's something that others might overlook that can bring some money. Uh, sometimes they go for really good money, sometimes they are okay, but you know, it's nice just to have another little bit of knowledge in the back of your head so you know what you're looking at when you're out in the wild. So I wanted to share um, something that I got. This is actually something my mom got me for my birthday uh, a couple years ago because every time we go to the museum, I went to the, the display case and, and just drooled over it. So finally she just bought it for me uh, for my birthday. So it was this bracelet that had all of these fossils and things on it. So I'm going to go through some of what these things are with you guys today and and kind of point out what they are and what to look for if you're out there. Um, whether it's set in jewelry or whether it's loose like I've got back here um, this ammonite and this orthoceros, which I always mispronounce, this one up here. Um, and then I've got some other like coral and stuff like that that's fossilized coral. Um, that's good to know when you're out. Now I am live, so I'm going to say hey in the chat real quick. Um, hello in the chat. Hi Melissa and Patty. Hi Kaylee and Thrifty Chick. Hello Bohemian Sprout. Hello everybody. Uh, so I'm going to share some of the things I found and then also in my, I have a jewelry group called Jewelry Lovers and Sellers. It is a paid group. I like, you know, I keep it small because we're really close knit. Uh, but I've started doing these sort of like pop quiz or let me see if I can stump you. And the first, one of the first ones I did just recently was this. I popped up a stone that looked like this and said, okay guys, what is it? And there were lots of guesses and it was a fossilized coral. So it looks like, basically like this. Where it looks like little flowers or sunbursts and yeah so hang on my of course my phone's gonna start ringing now let me set that over there all right so let me get back in order and I will share all this stuff with you um, oh, hello. <laughs> hello Julie hello Addie <laughs> how's it going okay so let me get my notes so I don't because if you if you've watched me for any length of time you know I I get sidetracked very easily. So, okay, first up, I have the coral, fossilized coral. Now, many of you may have seen like coral as far as like red beads or orangey red, um, but these are different. This is technically called agatized coral, so it's no longer coral coral. It's more like it's kind of fossilized. I'm sure there's a more scientific term that I could share with you, but again, let me find my, I have so many tabs open, you guys. Let me find the right one for you. Here it is. Okay. So it comes in different colors. And another, there was a really good picture I had that had some other, other colors. But oh well, I'll just go in order and it pops up. I'll show you. So this is a site that talks about fossil coral jewelry. And it's got some different examples. Um, so if you see, you know, it kind of has like sort of a roundish shape. And then um, sort of a starburst or a flower burst. And then there's a couple types, which I'll share with you. Let me pull this out of my, hang on. I'm trying not to knock my shelf down, but I've got one. I probably should have taken it out before I started talking to you. Can she do it? Here, I'll show you. I'm opening this up so I can pull this out, this piece of coral from here. Can she do it? So there's a couple different kinds, um, and it's hard for me to describe how to tell the difference, but once you look at them, for a bit you can kind of see. So this one, see how it's got the white lines, almost like it's little puzzle pieces with the white lines around them, kind of sectioning them in. Um, that's another kind of a coral um, cabochon, this is like a cabochon, um, and it's called, oh I always say it wrong, Petrovsky, Petoskey stone. So you can see how it's got sort of that I want to say like a nucleus, like the center, and then it's, it branches out and it's got like this kind of puzzle piece look to it. So this is another type, whereas this one is more like a free form. Not that you necessarily need to know that um, 
up front, but later when you're trying to describe it, knowing, okay, there's a couple different types that I need to, to keep in mind. So let me flip through my tabs just to show you and kind of give a few talking points. And these are ones like, I think I got this at a garage sale or something. You know, anytime I see rocks or bits, <laughs> you know, I just like grab them up and buy them. Um, these two that I got back here, this am, um, Ammonite and Orthoceros. Uh, I got both of those at a garage sale for five bucks, which is was pretty good, pretty good deal. Okay, so agatized coral. You can see this is not the same as this type because it doesn't have the white lines kind of around it, um, but still cool, right? All right, and then this is it, the the Petoskey stone. So this one's going for eighty-five bucks. Now again, some of them um, are higher price. Some of them don't go for as much. I generally price high because someone is going to be looking for a certain look, you know what I mean? And and they may look at all of the ones out there and the particular one that I have listed is like, wow, that's exactly what I'm wanting. And so they'll pay for that one. So, um, oh yeah, <laughs> thanks Kaylee. Um, oh wait, your dad found you a pink crystallized rock. Don't know what kind of crystal it is, but <laughs> oh, it depends, I don't know. I have to go, um, I have to research too. Uh, somebody in the group today posted a stone. And I was like, "Wow, you stumped me! I've got to, I've got to look at that a little closer." Okay, so again, Petoskey, Petoskey stone uh, is a rock or a fossil, pebble shape. Um, it's fossilized rugose coral. So that's you know the one with the white outlines around it. So there's that. You thought it was gonna be fossil watches? <laughs> I was trying to make it like specific, but when I get the thumbnail up, you'll see it's got fossils on it. All right, so yeah, so lots of different cool ones to look at. Um, and again, I've never sold them because I just keep them. <laughs> there's one There's one fossil thing that I did sell. Actually, I'm going to pull the image up for it, um, but I'll talk about it when I get there. Hello, hello. Yeah, like honeycomb looking. And my sister, she was here when I was sharing it, and she's like, it looks like octopus kisses, <laughs> like that, you know. All right, so that's that. Uh, I'm going to flip through just to kind of, some of these may be the same tab. So here are just some like cabochons that are being sold. People can buy them for jewelry. Uh, there's another one. I was just trying to get a lot of examples. Maybe I have too many examples, but just something to keep an eye out for. Okay, so these ones, the one that you see that's this round, when I was looking through this jewelry jar with my sister the other day, there were some earrings that I thought this is what they were because they looked so much like this. So I was like, oh, Elaine, the cabochons on those earrings look like this kind of coral. Um, but it, we pulled them out and they ended up being like a, a plastic. Um, but they mimicked it, you know, so that might be a keyword that I put in there for sure. Okay, so what about beads that look like fossils or stones? I guess it depends. I'd have to see because there there are beads too. Um, so the next thing I have um, on my list is petrified wood, which is tough for me. It's I I mean this is the one in my in my bracelet that's the petrified wood one, but it can look so many different ways. So it's always a, a hard one for me. Oh thanks. Go hit the thumbs up if you're enjoying the information and you'd like more videos like this. But as you can see, I mean. There's so many different kinds of petrified wood, so many different kinds of jewelry made with petrified wood. So uh, honestly, it's almost as if if you see something that's natural or stone, it's worth taking a second look at, you know. So um, yeah, this is the petrified wood. Um, here's some more. Again, you know, it could be brown, it could be black, it could be tan, it could be this, that, or the other. Um, and so I'm going to do a quick quiz in the chat real fast. Um, if you know what coprolite is. All right, so this is another one that I, I, I just probably will never be able to identify. I hate to say never, but it's one that I don't know that I would know it if I saw it, you know what I mean? But I thought I'm going to put it out there because there is jewelry made with coprolite. And if you know what it is, you know, it's kind of hilarious. We were at the museum, uh, me and the guys, and one of the docents at in the dinosaur area, he's like, hey, I've got this fossil in my pocket. And no, it wasn't a weird uh, pickup line. But he was like, do you guys want to touch my fossil? <laughs> okay, that sounds even weirder. But he, so he's like holding it out, and the kids are touching it. And he's like, yeah, this is so many million years old, and it's coprolite, and blah, 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 blah. And he's like, guys, you've been touching 
fossilized poop. <laughs> so it is a thing. Yes, coprolite, which I always say wrong as well. Yes, abundantly yours, you got it. It is fossilized poop. So I was like, dude, you're walking around with poop in your pocket. That's just weird. But anyway, <laughs> there's jewelry made with this. Now, have I found it or would I know it? If I picked it up, would I know that this is coprolite if I picked it up? Maybe not, because again, it looks all sorts of different ways. So I would have to do a little more research. <laughs> yeah, sound of yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I would have to do a little more research to know, like, if I saw this, that it was copper light. Yeah, I've got a fossil in my pocket. <laughs> do you want to touch it? Yeah, I was a little like, back away, boys. Um, <laughs> okay, next. Oh, I'm going to have to open. Oh, do I have, well, I have open here. Maybe I should hide this. <laughs> All right, so the next thing on my list, so we talked about the coral, agatized coral Petoskey stone. We talked about the petrified wooden and copper light. The next one is, I'm trying to find all my tabs. Oh, here we go. Okay, let me open my correct tab over here. And, okay, this is the, there it is. Ta-da! And this is the ammonite, which is this sort of nautilus. Let me pull this one down that I've got, um, shaped one, which is what I tend to find most frequently uh, when I'm thrifting or at garage sales. And I'm just surprised that I can get it so inexpensive. So I'll show you some that I picked up. Again, I, I haven't sold it. Look at this butterfly, it just won't stay put. Um, so this is, I got this and the earrings. I'll show it a little more closely, hang on. So here are the earrings. It looks like a snail shell, like so, kind of like that. These are the earrings and this is the necklace. And I believe I picked this set up for $5 at this garage sale. And it's on a, you know, thick, you know, silver chain. So if you can see, and sometimes when you see where it's like white in there, it's it kind of gets like geodey, like crystallized inside. And there's the back. Sometimes you can kind of see it on this one. There's a little bit of like an iridescence. Sometimes you'll get them and they'll be like super iridescent and people really look for that. You know, if they're really, really iridescent on the back. Um, so there's those. And then I just got another one at a garage sale. This past, you know, when I went to that last garage sale haul that I did, and it's a big one. And the, <laughs> and what's cool about this one is I don't see them this color very often, this kind of white, creamy color. Let me pull out this other one. You know, normally I'll see them more like this dark brown, but this was like a bright, creamy yellow one, and you can really see the, you know, crystallized bits inside. You can see these other deposits. I mean, it's not got the really iridescent backing on it, which is okay, but... It was just really different. Again, came on, I don't think that's a silver chain. But anyway, it came on a nice chain. Um, so there's that. And so there's ammonites. I really like this one. Again, probably won't ever sell it. Um, but it's got the crystal parts in there. I just like the the history. I don't know. Don't get me started on it with my raw countiness. But where you can see, like, all the deposits of different minerals in there and what must have been going on in the world when all that was happening, right? Okay, so here's the bracelet that I have, you know, and it's got this one on there, like so. And there, oh, you can see the iridescence on, on the back of this one. That one's got a nice, you can see the greens and purples really kind of iridescing back there. Sometimes you'll get them and they're just like really, really iridescent. Okay, let me flip back over because it's just me. Okay, let's see, like the wire wrap fossils. Oh yeah, totally. Um, I'm looking in the chat to make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, I, yeah, that's the thing about the light ones. I have to I have to find out if it's got a different name for you know with the light color. So here are some images, just kind of what it is. And I pulled up the wiki page so you could see what it looked like. It was a mollusk. It looked almost like I don't know like a cuttlefish, but in a shell <laughs> with all the little things like so, right? So let's take a peek. Now, again, on, on ammonite stuff, there's the high end and then there's the low end. Some of this fancy stuff is really pricey. Some of, you know, look at this one. This is Eldenia Sterling Cornucopia, pin, blah, 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 blah. Ammonite, 135 bucks. Now, definitely there are ammonite pieces that, you know, don't go for that much, but some of them can go for a lot of money. So 
Let's see. So this is like, they, I guess they took the, the iridescent shell off the back part to make that, that ring, you know. Uh, let's see, I have it highest price. So let's do lowest price. Just so you can see, like some people, you can get it for cheaps. But look at that, that's the same. I mean, I'm wondering if they got it like bulk. Oh yeah, from China, okay. So, you know, it's something to keep an eye out for. Again, if it's really cool, it's something that, you know, people might be looking for a specific thing. And these look like they're just bulk shipped from China. Let me do like cream. I don't know. I have to find out if there's a, there must be another keyword for it, you know, if it's like a cream colored one. Because as you can see, most of them are this brown. And then the one that I got this weekend is way lighter in color. So that might be something that's more desirable. Mm, yeah, I'm not really seeing a whole lot with this lighter color, so I'll have to look that up. So here's one, kind of like that. I know, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? It's what they do. Um, and then here's some more, you know, just showing. Oh, this is kind of like my lighter colored ones. Moroccan ammonite. Maybe that's what I need to look up. Okay, so that's ammonite. And then next on the list, I have got the trilobites. Okay, <laughs> trilobites. It's like I like trilobites, and then I also like, oh, trilobites kind of gross me out. Hang on, let me switch over to my trilobites. Nope, I clicked the wrong thing. Cancel, wrong window, this one. So our trilobites are, there you are. Ding. Okay. So the trilobites kind of remind me of like roaches. I don't know. They just, I don't, they have all those little legs and they're just kind of, that's just what they are. There's lots of different kinds of trilobite. Um, but again, if I see, you know, if I'm out and about and I see a trilobite in jewelry, I'm going to pick it up. Or even if it's not in jewelry, just a piece of fossil trilobite, I'm going to pick it up. So there's this guy. He's a trilobite. You can see the backside of him with all of his stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so let's take a look at some trilobite jewelry. Here we've got, you know, ammonite with the trilobite. We've got it on rings and necklaces, and sometimes it's mixed in with other stuff. Um, what about starfish? I would probably pick up starfish too. Any kind of natural thing, you know, rocks, minerals, fossils, I generally, I generally pick it up, yeah. Um, they remind you of horseshoe crabs, right? Yeah. Okay, so here's just another, like, ten terrific facts. I'm not going to read it. Okay. Um, yeah, I was just wanting to share some pictures of what you can see out there and what trilobites are. So, again, here are some. Again, I, I sorted by highest price just for fun to see what was out there. So it's this one is like a trilobite charm, but it's made of silver. Yeah, it looks like a bug, right? Um but here are some other ones, you know, 40 bucks. That's pretty cool. I think this could have gone for more money. This trilobite, like, cluster. Is that right? Yeah. Um, but, oh, look at that. Built-in magnifying glass. That is cool. That's really cool. Okay. Trilobite, flip up, built-in magnifying glass. That's pretty awesome. So, yeah, um, keep your eyes out for trilobite if you're out there. Again, the prices can go either way. But if you find something cool, you can sell for money. For money. All right, here's some other ones. These are ended recently. So you can see this little fella sold for 15 bucks. And it was just just a little trilobite. That's all. Yeah. And again, if they're just thrown in there with rocks, I mean, sometimes it's just they're like, yeah, take these rocks. I don't want them. Right. Okay, what have we got here? And these are just specimens, so this was not even jewelry. If you're just seeing it like a stone, <laughs> look at this huge trilobite plate from the Czech Republic. Even if it's just like on a rock, it can go for good money. And I probably sorted these by highest price too, didn't I? Trilobite, yeah, let me see. Lowest price. But we like the highest price, don't we? These are just little bits. Eh, okay. All right, moving on. Um, again, that's the trilobite. And then and the next thing I was going to talk to you guys about is the orthoceros, which I always say wrong. I'm going to try to get him down from up here. So it looks like this. And I got, these are the two I got at a garage sale for five bucks. I was happy to pay it. 
like that. So there's Orthoceros. Ta-da! Looks like that. Uh, <laughs> I'm talking about bugs. That's right, me. <laughs> All right. So there we go. So let's see what Orthoceros is and what kind of money we can get for him. So he's sort of a nautilus as well. He's got a shell, and then he's got you know this like I don't know. Reminds me, like I said, that cuttlefish. You know, like boo, right? So, but in jewelry, and I don't think my bracelet, no, my bracelet doesn't have Orthoceros on it. Um, no, nope. Okay. Um, so you can find pieces like sculptural pieces. You can find them on jewelry. And again, the prices can fluctuate depending on how it's set or how big it is. Um, so here we've got some sold on eBay, polished Orthoceros fossil pendant, 30 bucks. So if you see this out in the wild, it's worth a pickup. You know, especially if it's just, you know, cheap, <laughs> which is how we like to pick it up. So lots and lots of different Orthoceros jewelry out there. These all look really similar. Are these ended recent or are these highest price? These are highest price. Let's do ended recently. <laughs> Top shelf to keep. <laughs> yep. Okay. I mean, this one, I really think this could have sold for a lot more. That's kind of nuts. Well, it looks like some peridot in there. Oh, my gosh. From India. Okay. I need to check those listings more often. Look at these. That's beautiful. I would have sold... Okay, India, India. I would have sold those for way more. But okay, whatever. Is that a lot? A huge lot? Okay, don't, don't read, Margaret. You're not shopping right now. Keep on moving. Okay, so here are some pieces that are not set in jewelry, but just like a chunk of rock with some fossils in it. So you can see some of them have gone, of course, best offer, best offer. Look at the size of that one. There's a soup can. So huge cephalopod, orthoceros plate. Yeah, so that is something else to keep your eye on or out for. Uh, here's a necklace. On These are on Etsy for $47. Bucks. Um, Kaylee says, at the Goodwill, I found a plate with a starfish embedded in it, so I bought it. It was 25 bucks. It was worth it. Yeah, it sounds cool. That sounds cool. It would be hard for me to give it up, like these, you know, little bits and fossils and stuff that I've got. It's just, they're so fun, right? Okay, then, and then if I was to buy these new, I mean, come on. I would, it would cost me a lot more <laughs> to buy them new. Okay, next on the list is... The, let's see, I did Amnite, I did Trial by Orthoceros. Really, are we the last one? Crinoid is the only one, oops, Crinoid is the only one that I've actually sold, which I need to pull up my listing so I can show you what it looks like. Um, Because I got a really good price on my Crinoid bracelets. There we go. So Crinoids are like a plant, like an underwater, like a lily sort of plant. Um, let me close out of you, Orthoceros. Let me close out of you, Ammonite. So this crinoid, um, well, it says it's a marine mammal, but it, they look, there was ones at the museum, too. They looked like this lily. See, like they are commonly called sea lilies, right? But it says they are marine mammals. Da, 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 da. Okay, marine animals, not mammals. It's like, wait a minute, that doesn't sound right. Okay, so crinoids. So if you see something that looks like this, it looks like a bunch of, little rocks and sometimes circles with, you know, hollow insides, you know, O's and things. Um, this is crinoid. That's a fossilized pendant. Um, again, so it's like this little discs, right? But when they're set in the stone, sometimes you'll get, let me scroll down. See how this pendant, you can see the circle. So sometimes you're seeing the flat side of it, and then sometimes you're seeing the edge of it. Think of it like a... Um, like a spine, like part of your spine. So this is the, the hole in your spine where your spinal column went down. I can't believe I was just doing that online. Somebody's going to make fun of me. Okay, so your spinal column would go down the center, and then the, oh gosh, and then the, the bone part was like that. So this is sort of like, think of it like that, like it's the spinal column, and there's a, I'm so embarrassed, um, a hole in the middle. Anyway, crinoid. So I need to pull up, uh, to show you guys the crinoid bracelets that I sold. Oh my gosh. Um, so here, you know, you can see this crinoid necklace, um, the pendant with all the different sections. Ottawa, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me see. I know, darling, don't even. 
<laughs> That's okay. What am I? What am I here for? If not to entertain. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh, it's scientific, people. Science. <laughs> okay. So sometimes, sometimes. Hey, Cindy. Um, you'll see they're kind of like this gr uh, gray and pink color. And so the one I sold was this kind of gray and pink color, and it was two bracelets. Let me go pull it up so I can show you. Uh, let me pull it up. And I, I, I ended up um, selling it on eBay. I took a best offer. <laughs> oh, I'm still laughing at myself. Okay, uh, order, shipping, listing. Okay, here we go. Sorry, I should have had it pulled up, but I just uh, realized I didn't have it pulled up. Cry, noid. All right, so pulling this back up. Thanks, Kaylee. Honestly, I feel like a like a blonde. <laughs> okay, so these are the bracelets that I sold. These crinoid bracelets. Um, I took an offer on eBay, and I think the offer I accepted was right around a hundred bucks. It was about half of what I had it listed for. So it's these two pink crinoid um, bracelets. <laughs> Science. <laughs> Uh, and they were set in this little box, but you can see, you know, it's got white bits and pink bits, and you can see both parts of the column. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's something else to keep an eye out for if you are looking. And gosh, I got these at, I think I got these at a thrift store. I can't even remember. And honestly, now I'm kind of regretting selling them because I'm like, when am I going to find crinoids again? You know, and I don't want to go pay for that. So yeah, <laughs> some people call that science too. <laughs> That's anatomy. We're talking, well, I guess it's anatomy either way, isn't it? Okay, <laughs> this took a way different turn than I was expecting. <laughs> okay, so we have talked about some different, some different fossils, and I am hoping that you guys have picked up some information that you might be able to use and find helpful when you are out and about. Um, the only other thing I didn't really talk about was amber. I've done a bunch of videos about amber, which is the fossilized tree sap, and I've done a ton of videos about how to identify it and figure out if it's real or fake. Uh, and then I always, I always pick up shark stuff too, but mostly because my kids like shark's tooth necklaces, so um, those are fun to pick up as well. I mean, not they don't generally bring like a ton, ton of money, I'm trying to see if there's anything else here that I could show you that I've got. But no, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. <laughs> if there's anything else that you can think of that you're like, hey, you know, maybe do a video like about this. You know, I'd love to, to hear what you're interested in. If not, I'll just keep doing my informational videos and sharing with you what all I know about that might help you when you're out picking and selling. And if you know somebody who would find this video helpful or would like to see me make lewd hand gestures, why not share it with a friend <laughs> and let them know that Margaret's talking about crinoids <laughs> and uh, oh megalodon teeth if only right those are huge making sure that this is a safe hand gesture um, <laughs> okay again go over there if you're not subscribed go over there and hit the thumbs up and subscribe and I will talk to you guys later again thanks and I'm super embarrassed <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>